So hello, I'm Terry Siggins. I'm the Global Marketing and EMEA Sales Director for Brule and Care Vibro. I'm very excited today to have with me Florian Andrus, who's our Commercial Platform Leader for Census. Welcome, Florian. Hi, Terry, and thanks for having me today. No problem. So let's get straight down to today's topic, MEM Sensors. <laughs> what we'd like to know is why MEM Sensors aren't just for mobile phones and automotive applications. So can we start with the real basics? What does MEMS actually stand for? <laughs> That's a very good one to start with. Well, it's an abbreviation and we didn't invent it. It's like a market standard defined and it stands for micro electro mechanical system. And I think this very much summarizes exactly what it is. Very miniaturized micro electro mechanical sensing device to say. Okay, so, so how does a MEMS sensor work and what actually goes on inside it? Mm -hmm. So um, for those that are maybe a bit familiar with like integrated circuits or how chips are being produced, that's very similar, if not the same type of um, underlaying production, because it's, you can imagine it as being like a silicon structure that is being produced um, in a way that the sensing element, the MEM sensor itself in the end has like moving parts that can take up mechanical um, uh, information or forces and translated or tr converted into, into into electrical signals. And this one is uh, done with really the very much similar um, production uh, technology as it is being done for integrated circuits designs um, based on silicon structure edging with CMOS technology and some additional process steps into it. And in the end, you will have a MEMS sensor to measure different uh, types of variables. Well, technology sounds interesting. So what, what kind of applications might MEM sensors be used for and, and why? And you already started uh, naming some of them, like the, the most familiar ones is automotive, um, but it's also like mobile devices um, or even uh, laptops and a very big um, industry segment is robotic applications. Um, so maybe also why and where it's a bit depending on um, what kind of performance you are looking into it and for those applications named up front like automotive and, and mobile devices there is a very limited requirement on the technical performance around it um, they are measuring um, like acceleration um, or pressure or temperature and they can do this on a very integrated compact um, design and also with a very low power consumption and this is why it's very interesting and appealing to those kind of applications and industries also because of the manufacturing technology behind it which makes it really really scalable but now as we have talked it also becomes that there are products on the market that make it really interesting also for our let's call it the classical industrial vibration monitoring and this is why we are talking today so uh, so yeah I, i've heard that mems isn't really suitable yet for high accuracy vibration monitoring applications so so what's different about the way we're using mems that you're absolutely right and um the um, the thing how we are using MEMS is it's I would say it's a twofold way. The one thing is that we found a MEMS sensor that really has some tremendous specs that is really entering into a performance level that makes it suitable for our um, high demands in our vibration monitoring in an industrial uh, environment. And the second part is which I would say is also at least of same importance is really the, the tremendous like 60 plus year of experience that our um, engineers and designers bring with it. And combining those two things, uh, we believe that we have really found a really good combination that makes that product that we will be bringing out soon um, really, really interesting and suitable for, for the market and the applications we are focusing on. Okay, so, so will this replace other technologies and does it have any advantages over what we've we produced in the past? Very good question. Maybe start with the second part first, like the advantages, um, as I already uh, pointed out, um, is really the, the main key drivers for MEMS technology is on the one hand, the, the compact size of the sensor itself, the sensing element. It is about the, um, the low power consumption, which makes it very interesting to some applications where power supply or power consumption is of, a, of, of main interest and concern. and that's the second step is really the, let's call it the scalability of, of the technology itself, like mass production and, and how you're gonna produce these type of sensors. 
And this, um, some of those things really make it very interesting for, for our applications today or for the products we are considering it to be used uh, in. So it, it all sounds very exciting. <laughs> and and I'm looking I'm looking forward to the next generation of technology. But when will they be available? <laughs> so uh, if everything goes as planned, um, we are planning on a, um, a multitude of products released based on that technology. And we are planning on the first uh, product to be released in Q1 2022, which is the upcoming uh, first quarter of next year. And then we are planning on uh, different products um, that we are going to launch throughout the year. Um, so we, in the end, planning on a product family that will cover um, non-hazardous and hazardous area approved products um, based on this technology. And we target around three to four launches within the year 2022. Fantastic. Well, so that's about all we have time for today. So I'd like to say thank you for answering those questions. Most interesting. And we look forward to the new technologies. Thanks very Thanks. much. Thanks, Terry, Bye. very much. And uh, have a good day. Bye. Bye.